All right, Mr. Teleferro TV, how's everybody doing out there? Um, I've been feeling this way for quite some time. I don't chalk it up to hatred. Uh, I, I just chalk it up to one of those things where I don't have money. All right, I have not been fond of with money. I don't know this guy's story, but this has been on my heart uh, for quite some time because I've been feeling that way. Something gave me that itch, and when I have that itch, generally speaking, I, I'm, I'm usually right, you know? Um, Adam, no jumper. You have created a phenomenal platform. I respect the crap. I And I don't know a lot about Adam, but from what I've been told, this dude has set up shop on the West Coast. I mean, getting some very exclusive interviews. I just seen a Zaytoven and Usher interview from Adam the other day in regards to just pulling off interviews. Like, that is not an easy get. All right, Usher, I, that might be Usher's first interview since a lot of allegations have come out about him in the last calendar year. Adam, salute to you and your platform, what you are doing as and me being a journalist, you know, and just knowing the odds and ends of how difficult certain things are financially, raising the money. I don't know if this dude's come from money or not. I, I don't know. I don't care really, to be honest with you. Salute to Adam for the platform you've created is, is dope. No jumper. The platform is dope. I don't uh, agree with a lot of your takes. You're 10 years older than me. We have different tastes in music. I think you're I think you should cover a older demographic, but that's my opinion. But in regards to what I personally think about you, though I don't know you, you're you're a nasty man. You're you're na <laughs> sir, you're nasty. All right? You're, you're a nasty old, you're a nasty man. All right? Um let, let's acknowledge something real quick. Twitter used to be when I was in I'm 24, right? So around when I was around maybe let's say 8 9 years ago, 16, 17 years old. That's how old I was around that time. Twitter used to be a place where no censors were had. You know what happened? Um, we had this Twitter era. Again, companies used it, but it wasn't the bottom line. Big networks used it, but it wasn't the bottom line. And, and then Instagram happened, and we became a photo-driven world. Then Instagram got videos. Then we became a photo-slash-video world. Then we went back to Twitter, right? But the world had changed. When Instagram popped off and you can now use photos and videos to tell stories and to tell people about your day, then we got the Snapchat of the world. Twitter, the Twitter world has changed. You know, Twitter has, all social media platforms have changed. I mean, the world has changed. Companies, a lot of companies are contingent off their social media followings. Social media is telling com companies where they're gonna spend their money, all right? The world has changed. So let me acknowledge this first, Seven, eight, ten years ago, Twitter was a different place, all right? Twitter was a, an entirely different place where you could get off some very questionable things. There were just, it wasn't just a, it wasn't a censor place, just to be honest with you. But I am 24 right now, all right? When Adam sent these tweets out, he was 24, all right? I'm a responsible adult. Maybe I'm much more mature than what Adam was at 24. You know, it is what it is. I'm wrong, you know, it is what it is. I'm not grading anybody by their maturity level. Who the hell am I to judge? But I'll tell you this, at 24, I'm responsible for everything I say. I'm very aware that uh, my words can be used against me. And um, I watch what I say. We have fun with the coach, of course. You know, I, it is what it is. But in regards to certain things, you mean these things you say. All right, everything I've said on social media, I can stand by it 100%, the person I am today. Let me read some tweets from Adam, 22. Some tweets that he said when he was 24, all right? So this is about 10 years ago, all right? Then we're gonna get into how Adam responded to those tweets that surfaced, and I don't know who pulled them up. This is how Adam responded. He said, I was just looking at a girl, this is one of his tweets. I was just looking at a girl's Facebook pictures kept going to the old ones when she was 15 and I realized I thought she was hotter then. LOL, not so bad. Adam went on to say, pussy is the opposite of a fine wine. It tastes worse with age. Okay, so he's he's in the younger chicks. It is what it is. Younger chicks can still mean a, you're, you're an adult. He said, serious question, if a retarded white guy with Tourette's yells the N-word, is a black guy allowed to fight him? Ain't nothing, right? you know, it is what it is. He said, girls just, a girl just added me on Facebook. Looked like she's about 15 and our only mutual friend is so-and-so. Looks like he's into that girl who's only 15. He's 24 at the time. Okay, we're getting, we're getting sick. 
He said, just looked at Facebook and saw that my ex is now engaged. Then a text from a 19 year old containing naked pics popped up. I'm glad I'm me. Okay, we're getting nasty. Let's go to another tweet. Macklemore beats a ton of actual black people for a rap award. Award, excuse me. This is worse than the Zimmerman thing. All right, we're, we're getting. He's going to a place that Zimmerman topic is is very sensitive in our community for obvious reasons. Okay, maybe he didn't get that. He said, "I would almost rather sexually harass than have sex." You're nasty, Adam. All right, let's keep going. Shouts to all the 18 year old girls out there that let a real dude like me hit it, even though when I was eight, they were still an ex. So he's acknowledging that he's smashing chicks that are eight years younger than him. He's 24 at the time of these tweets. That would mean the chick's 16. You're nasty, all right? Um, hanging out with my niggas, my niggas. Says the N word. Look. <laughs> I'm very aware that white people who listen to rap music say the N word in their private spaces. I'll be the first to acknowledge it's a very tough thing to understand in 2018. If we have, if, if white, if you know, white money is good as any type of money, black money, you know what I mean? Money is money to me. And there are thousands, millions of white people who love rap music and rappers continue to say the N word in their music. I don't know what to say. You know what I mean? I'm very aware of that I'm not going to, you know, he tweeted this out. We, I, I know he says the N word. It is what it is. It's whatever. He said, Brandon and I are developing a new dating site for little kids. Taglines for kids that just want to have sex. Adam, you're nasty, sir. Um, I would rather bang a 15 year old in the ass than be president. I would rather bang a 15 year old in the ass than win the lottery. You're nasty. All right. At 24 years old, you're nasty. Uh, another tweet. I wonder if little kids use t Tinder or if they're all just looking forward to getting older so they can use Tinder. Okay, you're nasty. My advice to any younger girls out there, sleep with much, much older men. I think the Gabe, I don't know who this is, the Gabe Brooks is a case study in what happens when you combine BMX with extreme athleticism and Negro genetics. Mm, you're racist. Getting raped is just part of growing up. Just what Adam said. So if you're saying you wouldn't suck a 11 year old's dick, Mm. Let's fuck the kids. Adam, you're a nasty, sick human being. Um, this is Adam's reasoning for his tweets as someone called him out for that. All right. He says, here's what happened. I made a bunch of offensive tweets 10 years ago when the internet was a very different place and nobody knew who I was. I'm not racist and I never hooked up with anyone who wasn't of age. Sorry to anyone who got offended. I still love you. All right. With a kissy face. Uh... Okay, he said, well, I guess this is my first week of being canceled. What should I do with myself? So he's joking about it. I, I do want to admit that Adam at some point in time was under some type of investigation. And, I, and please don't take this as fact, but th there is some, I wish I had more information, but he, he did get accused of doing something with an underage chick the last few years, all right? That, that is a real thing. And to look at all these tweets and see who this guy was at 24, I'm not judging anybody for who they was 10 years ago. We grow every day. We try to be that much better than the person we were yesterday. I'm rolling. I mean, I'm, I'm in that pack too. I ain't perfect. But uh, in regards to Adam, this dude is sick. And your reasoning for being sick at 24 was the internet was a different place, sir. Um, My brother, yes, the internet was a different place. I went in depth about that. That doesn't mean the internet was a place where you can... Get, you can get off anything you got to fucking say in regards to be racist, be a fucking sexual pedophile. Adam, I'm sorry, bro. Th this is disgusting, fam. Th th this is this is beyond. Yo, you're you're pretty much acknowledging you need chicks to be underage for you to sleep with them. All right. Now look, I've I've looked at this guy again. I, he's a content provider. I I study interviews. I give give you guys content. I watch him. And I've studied this guy to a degree because I have to watch his interviews and content so I can give you guys the best information. He looks socially awkward. And to me, he looks like he re he prefers to hang out with younger people because they are probably around the same age mentally. Um, that's why you see the Lil Xan interviews and the, the younger. That's why he catches a lot of these younger artists because he probably likes them. Hell, from his tweets, he tells me he likes people around the age of 15 and 16. With that knowledge, hell, Bad Bobby will probably be right up his alley right now. All right, she, what is she, 14 and 15? That's kind of where he, he likes him at. That's the age where he say he prefer him at. Listen, man, this is sick. Listen, man, we give people access to our culture because people have money. And that fucking sickens me, you know? 
Um, if I had the money that it looks like Adam had to invest in his company, you damn right I give every artist that that wants an interview a platform. I'm growing my shit from the ground up. I don't come from money. Yeah, you, you know. And somebody's gonna be like, so what you hating on him for how you growing his platform? No, I'm not hating on him. But do I get upset? Hell yeah, because we're we're giving our platform to people who being irresponsible. I don't want anybody to be a storyteller and a content creator who fucking likes teenagers. Period. I don't care if I take a, I don't care what kind of beating I take in the comment section for giving this, this, this type of opinion or perspective on this situation. I don't give a fuck. Yo, I don't, you know, going forward with my platform, here's one thing for certain you can, you can 100% guarantee about Mr. Telefero, and it'll never change. You'll never see any story come out about me about liking teenagers. To me, that hurts the validity in who I am as an interviewer. What the hell do you mean by that? Do you mean by that, Telefero? Well, let's say I was doing an interview, I don't know, with R. Kelly, right? Let's say I was interviewing R. Kelly and me and R. Kelly got into a conversation and we discussed his past, all right? We got into the topic of conversation about allegedly he has been into underage women for quite some time. Let's say I've acknowledged on social media that I'm into underage women and that's who I am as a person, right? How can you guys expect me to give y'all the interview that y'all deserve when we ask the hard hitting questions when you know I'm biased towards that particular thing because I do it. Meaning you can't expect somebody who's in the underage women their damn self to ask another person about being in the underage women or man, whatever it is. Like, you know what I mean? Like there's a certain obligation to the people that I feel like my job as a reporter and journalist going forward, I owe you guys, or personality, whatever you want to call me. You guys deserve the best content as unbiased as possible. And if there is a man out there that's in a spot because of the money he's obtained, we fucking let anybody in our culture, bro. We cannot, yes, we gotta we gotta call out irresponsible people that are, have entered our culture. You wanna know why? There's a lot of people on the ground kicking ass, doing all this work to be in a, a better position but because they don't got the right skin complexion and because this is our culture I'm talking about here because they don't got the right skin complexion and because they don't have the, the correct financial means we don't get in. All right. Or we ain't got in yet. We got to grind from the ground ground literally up, but we let this sick fuck in. This is what we do. We let dudes that in the underage women in. And when we make, when I mean underage women, we get, we got a dude online. I ain't even got into the racism aspect of it. Cause I told y'all it's tough to even decipher. We, we letting a dude in who's saying I like fucking kids. This dude is sick, bro. I, I'm sorry. There's no other way to spin it. If again, if they get mad at me, I'll take it on the chin. But for me to ever sit back with people who curate content in our culture, after I watched y'all destroy Charlemagne a couple months ago for having sex that may have been consensual, may have not been consensual with his, for the first time with his, I guess, ended up being his wife, right? And then the sexual, the, the thing he got charged with in South Carolina with the other chick that tried to bring the charges back, y'all killed him. And we had conversations about that. I'm sorry, y'all, everybody gotta be held accountable. And if it gets to the point where I sit back and let people like this have a stake in the culture, and they, they're fucking sick. And when I sit back and start letting shit like that pass, I'm just as bad as that person. We got a man at men. And he likes little kids at 24. And he's blaming it on the fact that the internet was a different place, bro. And he's joking about it on, on social media. He's he's literally he's literally clowning anybody that has a problem with that. This world is sick, bro. We let anybody in our fucking culture if they got money. Thank y'all for the time. And I'm not fucking redoing no reaction videos to anybody that go make a reaction video to me. I don't make reaction videos to people who talk about me on YouTube. It's, it's never going to happen. Sorry try again thank y'all for the time love and support i don't take it for granted Yo, this shit is sick am i only one who think this shit's sick y'all talk to me in the comment box below man um adam i pray you get the help that you need my brother um or maybe you needed 10 years ago i pray that you're in a better space today god bless you you got a phenomenal platform salute to the no jumper platform but you sir are sick all right i'm out i came from nothing but i want everything god has for me I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids.
you are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV. Here with the Triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.